Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to show you how you can make a custom loot filter with custom sounds and custom visuals that, uh, yeah, you can just make by yourself. And this is brought to us from Filterblade. Uh, it's a, a page that we all use for Path of Exile 1 as well, and the filter we used. And now it's available for Path of Exile 2 since yesterday. And I thought it's a good idea to show you how to use it and yeah, uh, how to customize it for yourself. So let's get right into this. Um, I will link the the I will link the link from the page down below so you can just click it or use it or, or uh, copy it over here. So this is where every one of you starts on the page. You can log into your uh, account over here. So then your filter will all uh, will always um, will always um, update uh, itself. So it's linked to your account, and every time when you log in, um, it updates itself, and you never have to worry that your filter isn't loaded at all. Then. Uh, the first big thing that you can uh, do over here is that you can select the the base um, the base strictness of the filter. So you have like pretty soft. It's uh, yeah for for like uh, everything basically that it's shown. Then you have regular, semi strict, strict, very strict, uber strict, and uber plus strict. So I'm currently uh, running uh, uber plus strict with also a customized version because it's too much loot what I do. Uh, but you guys uh, probably will take strict or very strict. But we go into the customization in just a bit. So down here. Here you see like a, a filter overview. So you see how something is looking, and you see also the the, the description. You see like the very uh, the the big value loot. Uh, it's um, written like this. And yeah, also when you change the strictness over here and scroll down, you see that some of them are getting um, ripped off. Uh, so you see when you select uh, Uber Plus strict, uh, everything that is not uh, he, uh, not visible like this, it's not seen. And yes, uh, you can just take a look and please leave uh, leave some love to NeverSync who provided this filter. Join his dream, leave some subs over there. He deserve it. It's the, it's so great what he did. This, this is so much value and quality of life. I just want to make this clear that this is, yeah, not possible without NeverSync. Uh, he's amazing, okay? So then, when we go to customize, uh, to customize, this is where the real magic is happen. So we have uh, like the big list over here where you can see the basic stuff and you can click on them. And then you have for general currency, like the different uh, tier tiers of them. And when you click them again, you see a little window and also uh, the, the currency that's in, 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 in this type of, uh, of tier. And when we open another one, you see uh, there's like uh, also other stuff inside. So um, the first thing I want to show you is how to swap the the currency or um, uh, yeah add currency to a different tier. Um, it's super simple. You can just drag and drop this from uh, this tier to another tier, and also you can just use uh, this um, the search function over here to just type in yeah what you want, like exalted ops or so and if we want to edit it says also oh it's another tier do you really want to move it instead yes i want and then it's also moved but you can also just drag and drop and it's pretty convenient um and this is basically for for everything so you just have to click through and see what is inside of what because if i show you everything this video would be way too long and i want to keep it short for you so you have all the informations and can dive into uh, into it by yourself pretty quickly after this video and uh, then we have like uniques you can now select different base types of uniques that you want to show up or not show up and um, for other things as well. This is like pretty cool. It's for chancing. You can uh, uh, bring in all of the bases in white that you want to highlight and pick up to chance them to maybe get a big hit or something else. So uh, for customization, you can just open one of this tier and then you see like this uh, this box over here, those three ticks and also the, the left, the, the right uh, buttons over here. So we start on the left. TX stands for the text. So you can change like the text uh, here, the color if you want to. Uh, the BD is the, is the border basically. So you can uh, select the border that you want for this kind of filter. We do it just in yeah some silly way now so, to show off. 
And then you have the background where you can select the background of it. And also you can untick those so they are get transparent. Uh, and yeah, this is now uh, our new divine orb. It hasn't looked, it, it, it's not supposed to look good now. It's just for showing purpose, okay? So on, on the right side, you can select the, the size of it, how big it shows on the floor. And you have to find out your size that you like. Um, for this, I take it a bit. Uh, I just show you that uh, it's big, and now I can make it also small, and I'll show you in-game in just a bit. Then you have uh, two big functions here uh, for the buttons. So if you want to add a new uh, a new S-tier group or so, and you want maybe the Mirror of Calandra uh, with a different uh, visual effect and a different sound. So you can just go to Add Rule over here, and instead of uh, just, uh, yeah, copy everything from here to here. Uh, you can just click the copy uh, function over here and then you just say here, paste. And now you have all the all the settings that you made over here, also down here, and you can start from there again. And this is how to make new rules. And then you also have, um, yeah, if you bring in some currency, maybe just a chaos orb or so, but this, uh, and yeah, it says again, you want to change it. Okay. And then it's also shown. And then um, you can also reset it, paste, I showed it. And then uh, where, how you can add uh, your custom sounds, you go, uh, you click on this button over here, and then you can select on the left, on the left side, different, uh, different functions, so like the normal sounds. Basically, you can click on them. And then you also uh, hear the sounds. I hope that I um, know. Wait, just give me one second. I'm sorry that I haven't done this before. Um, just one second. Now? Yeah, okay, now you can hear it. Perfect. So you can select like the basic sounds over here and also the mirror sound mirror of Calandra. Ultimate. Ultimate. <laughs> uh, measurable. Okay. Indescribable. He is not done, I think. And he, like this. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's funny. It's so funny to play around with this stuff. Let's let him talk through. I will continue uh, fast. Okay. And then, yeah, you can select like the basic sounds. I think five is the ting. No, it's six. Yeah, there you have the ting sound, uh, the, the normal one. But also you can make the custom sound. So you click custom and then you click on manage. And then you go to like any any um, site that you want where you can download sounds for yourself. And I use, uh, you can just type on, on Google like a meme sound generator or so. And then you can find like the sounds. And I, um, I bring, uh, I picked up the sound for this video. It's Whee! this. Okay, that's the sound. And yeah, you can just download it from this page. And then you have it over here. Then you go over here and then you can let me oh one second. Then I can just delete this and say okay, upload new sound file. Then I go in and upload the new sound file. I just have to fix the naming. Okay, perfect. Then I can just say done. And then I can select it here with the with the arrow key and uh, with the with the arrow button, and then I can select it. And it uh, also plays again. And then you can select also the sound value, how loud how loud or how quiet you want it to be. It cha doesn't change at all. I think it's a bit buggy currently. It's new since yesterday. We agree it's okay. And then uh, some cool other things here. Uh, two other things. Here, and you can select like the the icon next to the to the item. Um, you can just change it to whatever you want, like this, and also like the icon on the map that shows up when it's dropped, and also if it's temporary or all the time active. And um, that's for the customization over here. So if you want to um, find spe specific bases or items that you don't want to show, you can just use the search fun function. Maybe we just look for a prismatic ring. So prismatic ring. And then we see like um, a bunch of different um, search options that we can click off. So we just click the first one and then we are in the category amulets rings rare. And then we see a yeah, item level 28 plus. So now we see that the gold ring is only shown when it's an item level 82 plus. 
And we can just say, okay, we don't want to see it anyways. We can just untick it over here. And now it's not shown in game anymore. And yeah, we can basically do that for everything. We can untick everything. We can search for everything. And also for the currency, when you go over here and yeah, also maybe the runes, you want to show up the runes, they are currently hidden. You can just do that by going into the um, into the settings over here and select them to show again. And then um, it's for this, you can dive into this, you can use the search function you are, yeah, no, uh, and you can just look through and click on these things and find whatever you want and customize it the way you want with the with the background and everything. And then you can go to simulate and then you can just press the loot button and it simulates all of the loot. You can also generate valuable loot. And if you click fast enough and good enough, you find maybe a, a, a valuable loot that you um, selected or um, yeah, um, customized yourself. And then you can uh, see it, how it looks on the floor and also go into the chain and the settings and customize it yourself. Then you can also import items from uh, PoE. And if you don't know that, if you inside of Path of Exile, you can just control, you can just hover over item, uh, click control C, and then you copied that item into your clipboard and then you can just control V over here and it copied the exact item that you um, yeah, copied from Path of Excel. So you don't have to find it or yeah, um, find the ID or anything else. It's pretty convenient. So keep that in mind. Then also yeah, like the item builder, you can select like a specific item that you want to drop and show on the floor. Um, for the style, you can uh, basically change uh, everything now. This this is new. Um, you can uh, select the overall uh, settings for, for the borders and for the colors. And you see how many rules are affected by that. And you can just go crazy with it. And also with the sounds, you can customize it for every single one that also is pre-selected and don't have to, you don't have to dive uh, into it uh, completely. Um, you can just, if you have any any um, errors with the, with the filter that shows in game, you can just change it over here. And it's pretty convenient. If you have any question, you can join my stream and I can help you uh, to set up the filter correctly. And on advanced, yeah, you can basically import some models that you made from your clipboard. It's basically um, that you, uh, yeah, go go faster or maybe I misunderstood it. Um, but yeah, you can share around different loot filters and stuff like this. And yeah, this is also new and pretty well made and pretty, yeah. Pretty good. And then we are almost done. We can we, we just go on export to PoE. And then the first thing you want you have to do, this is really important. Either the custom sound filter will not work. Um, you have first to download and save it. So first you download this with the sound files. So you get like uh, a zip folder. I open up my second monitor. Um, then you just go to your download folder and then you go unzip it. And then you go to Path of Excel, you press Escape, Options, go to Game, then press on this little uh, file folder icon, you press on it. And then it normally uh, opens up, it opens up in, in the background uh, on my computer, uh, it basically opens up the, the filter uh, file um, folder. And then you just uh, grab all of the stuff from the, from the zip data, you just copy that. Paste it into this. Yeah, I do this for now. And now the filter is loaded into here. Then we can, then we have to go into the in game and press the reload button. Then it's reloaded. And then I can go over here, select the filter, and I see on the bottom the item filter loaded su successfully. Then I, uh, first, for, uh, before we go further, we go on the filter plate side again and go to export and go. Uh, to advance here again and then save and sync so now it's saved and synced to your path of excel profile and um, if you update it now you don't have to download again and um, redo it you just have to add the new sound files again that you selected in the filter and just place it into them with the right name that you also select on the on the website it also says over here but i'll explain that uh, um in, uh, yeah now and then uh, if we've done that, we can go again in-game. 
And then we press this button again, and then we see, okay, this is the filter over here. It's loaded, and it's successfully loaded. And then we can just drop the divine, and then we see it's swinging. Yeah, and this is how you customize your filter for Path of Exile now and create your custom sounds, go crazy, have some insane mirror sounds, and yeah, enjoy it, leave a like uh, and a comment, subscribe, and turn in for more. See ya, guys. Bye.